in this brief demo I'm gonna walk you over to our dashboard and the three services that we already have available. We're not gonna go so much into details, uh, the main purpose is for you guys to see how our dashboard looks like, how you can configure everything simply by clicking and you know entering stuff and then of course enable the API to start building your stuff. So right now in front of us we have a login screen so once you create an account you simply log in and uh, immediately I am taken into our dashboard so as mentioned before we have three services available right now uh, storage and hosting are both derived from parachain called crust um, which then you know takes the files and pushes them and pins them to IPFS protocol um, essentially this means anything you're gonna send to storage or hosting is gonna be decentralized um, the la latest service that we enabled are NFTs which are basically deployment of uh, NFT uh, ERC721 smart contracts to either Moonbeam or Astar, um, so EVM compatible chains, and I'm gonna take you through that flow as well. So first of all, let's check out quickly our storage. As you can see, I have several um, storage buckets already created, but essentially what you do is you create a new bucket, give it some sort of name, description, and of course you're gonna get five gigs free of charge, and then this bucket appears in your dashboard. So from this point on, you can immediately start by dragging and dropping the files into this bucket or just enable the API and push the files via API. Uh, very similar situation for hosting. Um, as you can see, I already have a Nino.Ninja website hosted here. Uh, basically, another service spinned off of Crust and IPFS. Um, essentially what you do is enable hosting, drag and drop the static uh, website files and then you take them through staging and finally to production. In the production please pay attention that you can configure your own domain and we also gonna equip your domain with a free SSL. Uh, of course anything you host is also um, you're also gonna get IPFS and IPNS links so um, you can see how my website looks like uh, and we're gonna get deeper into this once we deploy the NFT smart contract so let's check out the NFT collection deployment so in this situation please keep in mind that uh, the purpose of these NFT collections is not to land on OpenSea but this is driven towards anyone who would like to have their standalone NFT collection uh, with their own domain, with their own website, fully under their control and anyone can come and mint those NFTs. So it doesn't have to mean that you're gonna, you know, have just a gallery. What you could do essentially is build a full game and then the minting happens afterwards or during the game or, or as an achievement. It essentially gives you full power to do whatever you want. So right now I've clicked on NFTs and new NFT collection. And as you can see, the first step, the first segment is all about the NFT metadata. So um, what this means essentially is that we are asking you for where is this metadata um, uh, and that you have to send us this metadata so we are able to store it somewhere. Now, this is very important. Um, that's why I started with our storage, crust and IPFS support because whatever you upload in the metadata phase it's going to be decentralized. So keep in mind we all know that you know once the NFT is sold if the picture and metadata are hosted on a centralized server and that server is shut down you're gonna lose everything. That's why we integrate those steps and uh, as you are slowly going towards the self-sovereign NFT collection, um, we, we obviously offer you uh, the storage part as well. So during talking, I selected a list uh, CSV file, which includes the NFTs that I'm gonna build. In this step, um, I simply select the metadata attributes and confirm them and now it's time to upload the pictures as well. So uh, I selected 113 images I've created using Midjourney AI. 
Um, and here is the preview. So these are, um, this is the first preview where you can see all the pictures and the CSV file loaded. And if you switch to view, you can actually compare and see whether the CSV file was loaded correctly. So if you prepared it correctly. Um, so now all of a sudden we are in the NFT collection composing phase and then we're going to be in the minting phase. So here we can do, you know, some test name of the collection, some test name of the symbol. And here, as you can see, you can choose where this is going to be deployed, whether on Moonbeam mainnet, uh, Moonbase, which is their testnet or Astar uh, mainnet. So in this situation, I'm going to go with Moonbeam mainnet click proceed um, I'm gonna match my total supply uh, to 113 so exact amount of images and that supply is limited revocable no soul bound no royalties address so where the royalties are gonna come to is one of my addresses and of course I'm gonna set 5% royalties fees if I turn on um, the drop functionality I can always set the price in glimmer so this is the price that user is going to pay to mint an NFT and I can send uh, set the drop uh, beginning so essentially this means the collection is going to be available for minting after this time spent expires so uh, this is the last preview uh, it allows you to visualize your NFTs better and, and, you know, imagine how everything would look like. And now we can simply deploy. Um, let's wait a little bit. So this gets processed. So as you can see what's happening now um, in this step we are uploading metadata to our storage service we created a new bucket especially for this nft collection we are uploading the photos so everything happens in the background utilizing different polkadot parachains um, all right so this is now done but there is one more step we need we need to build a website which is able to connect to the smart contract enable minting and display whatever was minted so with that with that said um, you can immediately uh, click create websites to display nfts and you're taken to uh, github where you can fork our nft template so Either you fork it, either you just visit this link with um, so uh, our Apple on GitHub and look for NFT template. You are able to uh, either clone it, etc. The point is, uh, this website um, includes everything you need, all the logical or business logic part written in primitive vanilla JavaScript or jQuery, I think even. Um, so everything you need to display this website it's not looking too fancy but the logic is there and the only thing you have to do when utilizing this template is open on environment js so uh, the file uh, envjs and configure the chain you have chosen so i i just deployed to moonbeam so locally in my files i would uncomment this line and uncomment this line to make this thing work um, going back to our uh, process of deploying this so now i have uh, all the metadata is uploaded i have uh, nft uh, smart contract deployed and i've received um, a front-end template which is you know able to connect and, and mint so what do i do now now i go to ho hosting uh, open a website and I can drag and drop this exact template configured to my needs. And of course, in the last step, as I already said in the introduction, I can set the domain. So I, I already prepared this up front so we don't have to wait for all the uploading and, and everything else. But essentially, uh, this is how my website looks like. I can connect my wallet um and now i have the ability to start minting nfts as we can see seven nfts were already minted and i can see them here um, 
So essentially, this process tells you how you can utilize different services by Appelon, which essentially take you back to a pair of chains on Polkadot, which we configure, we do all the heavy lifting, we do all the underlying payments. Basically, you just come in and start building. Um, thank you very much for listening and uh, see you next time. Thank you.